back, transom area. Caulk and make it fold down transom right there. Yeah, it's a little green and dirty, but you know, that's about it. All right, so the bolster pads have been removed at some point. That's the holes that you're seeing in the gunnels. Um, nothing crazy. Um, you can see the cracks in the floor right there. They're still solid, but it seems to run along the stringers. Like maybe the tanks were redone at some point because they're on both sides. The uh, previous owner didn't have any problems with the tanks. Didn't know if they were replaced or not, but something worthwhile mentioning. Yeah, there's a few things like that. Just going on cracks, you know. Things like that. Got batteries in the back back there. Got an in-floor live well full of water. No, it's just clogged up right now. Same thing, more batteries back there. A wash down bib thing. Cleaning post. T-top. Come around to here. Got your panel right here. Drop those latches, it folds down. Let me get this door open. This is the interior. Nothing pretty, but it's old, it has some potential. It all feels solid. There's some water in there from rain, but it's just because it's leaning forward. The electronics panel back here, old amp, goofy radio. Right up here, old Ferruno unit, GPS map, electronics box, old goofy stereo system thing that needs to be taken off. This T top's been re welded before, as you can see. All right, port side come around in the front. That's not perfect, of course. Got some chips and stuff up here. Nice little gallery right there. This guy up. Fresh water tank, fish box thing, bumpers, anchor, all that fun stuff. Come to this side. Little window for the cutty. Come around back to the console. All right. 